you tell me a little bit about yourself. Whenever you're ready. You guys are broadcasting. Hello, my name is Tony Bella from the Toronto Place, and we have Tom Godfrey, who retired after almost 30 years of journalism with the Toronto Sun, and he's here at police headquarters. He came by at 10 o'clock, we provided him with a gift, and just a thank you to Tom for his dedicated service in public safety. He's, he's a valued member of society. Uh, he's helped us solve many crimes. He's reported on many crimes. And we just want to say thank you to him. He's a good person, with a big heart, and we just want to say thank you. So, and uh, Tom, you must have had many, many stories that uh, you've reported on. Um, big question is, what's the next step in your life? Um, yeah, many. Uh, firstly, I've been covering the Toronto Police for roughly 30 years, in uh, both from both perspective, because I started my career in the Black community, working for the Black Press. Then I went over to the Toronto Sun. Uh, where I finished up, but um, I uh, covered many uh, stories. One of the top stories I did here that stands up uh, just uh, was the shoe cam guy. The first shoe cam guy that was caught at the CNE. This fella had a oh, camera, yeah. a camera on the tip of a stove. It turned out he was a high school principal, and it was, that story stands up because it generated a lot what of press. What year was that? Whew. That's going back. That's going back. But it was the shoe cam guy. Oh, that, that, that was that, that story. It wasn't at the exhibition, was it? Was yeah, it? that was the guy that was. Is that the, the one scene. where Chief Fantino arrested a person? No, that that's was a, a different case. That, that's, okay. a, that's a different case. Okay. Yeah, and uh, but anyway, uh, 30 years, and I've seen this the force. I've seen it grow, develop. I mean, when I first started out, uh, people used to come in and in the, in the black community saying they were beaten by the police, assaulted, this sort of thing. And to watch the force develop 30 years later, and to see a large amount of minorities that's now employed here, I mean that's uh, that's worthwhile to see some minorities uh, at the board levels and at higher levels. That and that my, my, that that itself is uh, heartwarming for me after 30 years in the city, because I've been uh, I've seen it from both sides. Oh, excellent. excellent. So, but what's now? What's the next step? Uh, the, as, as they always say, chapter one closes, mm -hmm. chapter two starts. I just still plan on writing. I'm a good writer. And I plan on selling my, uh, working for someone where I can use my, uh, all my hundreds of contacts in the political, police, and uh, community outreach work so I can help someone political or otherwise uh, do their jobs. I'm available at tgodfrey at rogers.com. And you know what, the one thing is, it's, all, it's, it's really important people understand, it's always helping the next person. Always reach out and help somebody. Because you never know when you'll be in need. So. Go out there, reach out, help someone. We want to thank Tom for coming to police headquarters today. Uh, we got him a couple of gifts, uh, a shirt, as well as a pen, and a coffee mug. And uh, we just want to thank you for everything you've done for the service, and more importantly, for the people out there. And I, I, I don't have nothing but good words for the chief and the whole uh, police system, Tony Pella, and all the men and women out there in the force. And we can't forget one more important person. Scott Mills, right behind that, <laughs> right behind that iPhone. But again, thank you, Tom, for everything you've done, and thank you for attending, and thank you for, for doing this. And uh, congratulations on your retirement, Tom. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Thanks.